Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about law of attraction, spiritual development, and making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time. And boobs with this topic. So I am so sorry, but I have been so busy with life and work that I have not been able to really get videos out. And I feel very bad because I know a lot of people are subscribing due to the whole breast implant removal videos that I have been posting. Um, and yeah, so I, I think I'm just about like a week late on my five month update. Uh, but yeah, so five months. Um, it's funny because in the beginning when I get to like two months and three months, I was like, holy crap, where is this time gone? And now I'm at five months, I'm like, why is this taking so long? <laughs> and not that I'm trying to speed up my healing process. I think the process itself is very beautiful. I think I have connected with myself more than I ever have in my life. Um, and the self-love that I have for myself now is just, it's just different. It's different than what I've ever experienced um, for myself. So uh, yeah, so if we're gonna be talking about pain or anything like that, there is no more pain. Um, like I've mentioned in my other videos, uh, it's like, I think like the first two days were really the worst out of everything. And then other than that, it was just kind of smooth sailing, just like nerves here and there kicking back in. But really overall, the struggle and the challenges that we're gonna go through with getting the breast implants out is our mental health. Because, okay, if we, if we know realistically, when we go and get the boobs, yes, when we're getting the boobs, we're very excited. Um, we just got something that we wanted. We're getting the attention that we wanted, yada, yada, yada. But we all know that we went through that point in time where we regretted them. We wish we went bigger. We wish we went smaller. It's like everyone goes through those phases when you get the implants in. So no matter what, it's psychologically like fucking with your head. Um, so when you get the boobs out, it's like that, but it's intensified. Um, but don't let that scare you. If you're, if you're, wanting to remove your implants don't let me saying that scare you because like i said in the beginning of this video it is a very 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 beautiful process to your self-love journey because ultimately and realistically the only reason why we are scared to remove the implants is because we are fearing what other people are going to think of us because if that was not a thing it would not matter if image was not a thing it would not matter and you cannot prove me wrong on that because it is if you go back it's not like we don't keep the boobs like oh yeah i think my health is going to be great i think long run nothing will happen to them um and yeah my confidence is just top notch with these things and let me tell you when i had boobs in i was very insecure still didn't matter if i had something on my chest not only that, when I got the boobs, like it, to me, it was a drastic change because I went from flat to a D, um, but no one really noticed. It's like, like people recognize that you have a chest because um, you're a female, but it's like, no one's really like, whoa, did you check out those tits? Did you check out that girl? Holy fuck, she's so much hotter with those boobs. No one says that. No one says that. So, well, <laughs> There are those men that do say that, but we don't want them in our life. We don't want those people around us, near us. You know, we don't, we don't need them. But yeah, so realistically, the only reason why we are not removing these plastic bags from underneath our skin is because we fear of what other people are gonna say to us. And it's scary for that fact because we come to these conclusions because this is chemicals in our body and we choose chemicals over health. We choose image over happiness. Like we can create happiness wherever we're at with whatever we have. But if we let an outside perspective come in, that's where we get jumbled up. That's when we start getting confused about our own thoughts and about the way we think and feel. I was gonna make a separate video on this, but I think this video is, it's kind of meant for this topic and it's just accepting yourself um and i know so many people say to accept yourself and just enjoy who you are as a person 
but I've really been diving deep into my self-love journey and really appreciating my body and myself um, with exactly that I have. Times get tough, yes, but I'm able to just switch it back really, really quickly, like literally in an instant of a finger because, or snap. <laughs> um, because as soon as that thought comes in, it goes out because I, I, I'm not having it. Sorry, sorry, I'm not treating myself like crap anymore. I'm not having it. Sorry, ego, you need to go. But what I mean by this, and I have a video out that I, I, I did a while ago, and it was about law of attraction, how to change your physical appearance through law of attraction. And although I think that video is very great because it describes all the things that we can do with just a mental thinking pattern, uh, but I'm at a different place now where it's not about wanting to, to change your physical appearance. It's about just accepting who you are and where you're at. Don't you think that you deserve that? Don't you think that this physical body, you in your physical form right now, as you are, don't you think that's enough? Or do you not think that's enough because we are glued to our phones and how people and doctors and influencers are telling you to be a certain way, to look a certain way and to have certain things in order to be valued or to be beautiful. It's sick. It is a sick fucking world. And you don't need to think like that. I know my words are just words, but my words can be impactful to someone that needs to hear this. Because I had that video and I had someone reach out on that comment and said that they wanted to change their nose. I have been wanting to do that my whole life. Um, up until the point I removed my implants and I just didn't think it was worth it anymore. And I looked at that comment and I just, it was sad. It was sad to have someone reach out and just be like, yeah, I really want to change this about myself. And the features that we have on our body are unique to yourself. And I think that's beautiful in its own. And the one way that I can put this for anyone to hopefully be okay with themselves or at least start that self-love process is okay you want to change your nose as you are right now i have come across videos and i'm sure other people have maybe you including whoever wrote that comment have seen people that have fought off cancer and now has a literal literally a hole a hole a, a caved in hole in their face you can stick your finger inside your face now, if that happened to you, how much would you wish you had your nose? Or how about the fact that, okay, talking about the topic of boobs and we remove our boobs and we have such a struggle with removing boobs and like not having them anymore. Say we get into a car accident, we lose an arm and we lose something that is very value to us, valuable to us. How much would you just like regret thinking that you had this thinking pattern that you needed boobs to be happy, but then like you lose a limb or you lose something very important to you, then you're like, wow, boobs really didn't matter. Wow, I wish I can go back and think differently because I just like, I, I don't even know if that makes sense, but like that's the way that I think in my head. Like, how would I feel if I lost something bigger? And I, I, I wasted my life hating the way that I looked and what I currently had, but then I lost more. Like, that's how, that's how my brain is working. It doesn't, I, I, I'm not saying it correctly, but I really hope that you guys are gathering what I'm saying because it's not worth, it's not worth it to yourself to hate yourself so much. It's not worth to not, think that you're valued because we don't have a sack of fat on our chest like it just doesn't make sense to me that we need to be so cruel to ourselves and i hope you guys take that jumbled up bit of information and really apply that to your life because i'm sick of how this world is right now and the way that people think that they have to look because of standard beauty and the way that other people, other, other people are telling you that, that you have to look. Start thinking for yourself. Get off social media. Get off those accounts. 
delete those accounts, block those accounts. I don't care what you have to do. Do not consume yourself in this ugh, disgusting filth poop pool. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a poop pool. Yeah, and you're just diving right into it. That little stench of stink. Like you're going right in there. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You're going to get other infections. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want you to know that you are absolutely fucking perfect the way that you are. We don't need boobs. Bottom line, like this, uh, this topic is talking about boobs. We don't need them. I'm flat. Like I'm flat. Like I really am. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to you know, show you guys what I got going on. But we don't need it start being nice to yourself it's worth it i'm living in a fucking happy bubble really am i really am it's great but that's because i'm changing my mind as soon as a negative thought comes in i don't have time for it sorry I'm busy you know just start saying that to yourself that's what i did i go to the gym i feel like someone's gonna look at my chest and like the the indents that i have if i'm flexing on something and like don't have time for it not for myself, not for them. Like, I don't care. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm here. I'm doing what I need to do. Like, that's it. So now I'm going to go over uh, how I look and hopefully the sports bra will do good. Uh, this is pad, obviously. I don't really do much without pad anymore if it's a sports bra. So I'm definitely filling out more. Uh, what... I have, so you can see my indent here too. When I flex, I'm absolutely missing a chunk of muscle, I think. So I think my doctor has just lied to me over and over. Um, but yeah, so if I flex, you can see more of that caved in indent. Uh, but it's really only when I flex. Other than that, it's it stays, you know, okay. Uh, and I think that's just from the workouts that I've been doing uh, to really build this part back up. So my muscle here is still does this I don't think that's ever gonna go away but I noticed and which I didn't know a couple months ago is that if I kept training chest if that was just gonna like end up staying very prominent and didn't like relax but it relaxes so it's really just it's only when I flex which still sucks I wouldn't mind still like going to have an option to get that back into place because realistically um, so yeah, you can see that indent. Um, and this, it's literally just skin and bone right there. Like there's nothing, nothing there. Uh, and my, my muscles jump. So my job is very, very physical. So my muscles move, they move all the time. It's very uncomfortable. So if I go back under the knife, which I do not want to, um, it would just be because, uh, my work is very physical and my boobs or whatever my muscles are jumping everywhere and it's very uncomfortable so there's that and i'll keep you guys updated on that whenever um but yeah so i'm definitely filling back out a little bit um like i said i still have those caves but without it being uncomfortable i don't care i don't care what it looks like uh like I said, with like all the talk that I had just a minute ago, I just don't care. I don't. I am living my life. I am as happy and healthy as I can be. And that's really what matters most to me. And I hope that you guys can have that self-love process journey for yourself going through this. Because like I said, it's the most beautiful process that I've ever been through. And I have really taken the time to just be kind to myself and i just i love it i really do so that was my update for my five months and a little rant about self beauty and you know what i normally do because our mind is very powerful and if we feed it negative thoughts that's what's going to come out and i just think that everyone is worth those positive thoughts and happiness so um if you guys have any comments or anything you need to know or anything that I left out, please leave it in the comments below. If you feel like this video resonated with you at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel like anyone needs to hear this video, please share it. Um, and until my next video, I hope you stay true and namaste.